It is Thursday, May 5th, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. We're going to spend the next couple of days in the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation is that kind of wild and woolly book that's very difficult to understand because of all the images, because of all of the terrifying images that can sometimes can scare the bejeebers out of us. But Revelation is really a book of hope. Today, we're going to begin in chapter 5, where John the Seer, the writer of this incredible vision called Revelation, sees in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll written on the inside and on the back, and it's sealed with seven seals. That's how scrolls were sent to different people. They'd be sealed with wax seals so that you'd know when you got it whether it was broken or not. This one has a lot of seals. It's got seven seals. And the number seven, of course, refers to a number of completion. It's got the right amount of seals. Now the question is, who is worthy to open this scroll? The seals when they were used on a scroll usually meant that it was only supposed to be opened by the one who was to receive the message, uh, the one who had the authority and the power to open it up. If the scroll was intended for Caesar, only Caesar should open it. But now the question in heaven is, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven or under earth was able to open the scroll. No one had the authority or the power to break the seals. And John the seer says, I began to weep bitterly because there was no one found and everyone wanted to know what was in the scrolls. Then we're told one of the elders who is seated around the altar says, do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. These are images for Jesus. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, an offspring of that tribe. He is the root of David, descended from David alone, and he has conquered. How is he conquered? Well, he's been put to death on the cross and he's been raised from the dead. He has conquered even death itself. And so the lamb who was slain is now the one who can open up the scrolls. And the lamb there appears, slaughtered. We see in this vision the lamb who has taken his place in heaven and all earth and heaven saying, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. The message here is that there is only one who is worthy to access the mysteries of the future, the mysteries of hope. There is only one who is worthy to command all the earth and all creation. And he is worthy because he has died on the cross and been raised so that he may reign forever. And his name is Jesus. As we continue to celebrate in this Easter season, we celebrate that Christ has been vindicated, that the Lamb the Passover lamb who was sacrificed so that death might pass over us, but that claimed him fully, has now been conquered because God has raised him from the dead. And that gives him authority that no president, no emperor, no economy, no nation, and no one else ever had or shall have except him. Let us pray. Almighty God, there is only one who is worthy, worthy to rule your kingdom, your kingdom of peace and justice, love and hope. There is only one worthy to dispense your grace and mercy upon the world. His name is Jesus, and we ask, Lord, that you would open our hearts so that we receive him and that we would displace every other thing that competes for his authority. Worthy is the Lamb. We ask this in his holy name.
Amen.